Hello, 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 hello. This is Rich Kale here at YouTube. Rich Gen X Elsewhere. And it's time to continue with Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Currently on A Study in Green. Yeah, there we played in a bowls competition. And then we had a dead body with the claim that the statue was the one that killed him. Oh. I gotta go back to Scotland Yard. No. Okay. So obviously I've gotta go back there. It didn't save me in Scotland Yard. The buggery. So, we have Thank you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Good. Where is this inspector? So uh, we're gonna first check in here. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. Hmm. The symbols. Hmm. Interesting. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. All right. Let's look at the other items here. Oh, thank you. Tissot watch. Swiss, 1855. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Money was left inside the wallet. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. Okay. So this is... Cursed. Mm. Ah. To be. Mm. Cursed to be. Ah, here it is. Anyone? Let's see what that fourth one looks like. No. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ah! Cursed to be anyone to disturb. Ah, so sacred. Okay, eyes. <gasps> sacred temple. Curse be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple. chosen to have mercy cursed will be anyone who disturbs the sacred temple they will meet their death by the risen statue only the chosen will have mercy mm. it's not only a calendar it's a curse Zacharias Greystoke a member of the club was killed as the curse decreed mm. interesting all right We've definitely come to a conclusion here. There we go. Turn right. And enter. Okay, the morgue. Last time we did something like this, I think, was in uh, the uh, oh. red eye. It looks like a serious infection. Hmm. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced right through the body. Hmm. What's this? The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. Hmm. Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. Oh. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. Mm -hmm. No. I don't think I've done enough. Aren't there some more things? These scars are old. Okay, now we got everything. Okay. Curse. Okay. The Mayan dictionary. Okay, so I've got to get a search warrant. But 
let's put some facts together right now. No. No. Facts about the crime. The running statue. Okay. Let's, let's go back to our clues. Okay. So right now, we've got this running statue theory going about. So, that's all we can give it right now. Alright. Mr. Rose? Okay, I need to find somebody. Who's this gentleman? Okay. Aren't you supposed to be investigating ah, yes. those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you. A search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. This is Lestrade! Bags under eyes, lack of sleep. Red stain. Mm, it probably might be. Hangover. That could be it. Cleaning his gun in a good mood. Handwriting letter from the Robin family. Okay. Woman's handkerchief. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's exhausted. He didn't sleep well last night. He's been drinking wine. Now he has a headache. He's in a good mood. He keeps a lace perfume handkerchief as a memento. Miss. Mrs. Robin, the wife of British councilman, might be connected with present. Oh boy! Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? <laughs> I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. Uh, nothing dishonorable happened. Go on, then. Take your warrant. <laughs> so, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh, no. I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, that's so naughty. <laughs> so naughty of you, Sherlock. 
<laughs> All right, let's head to the club. That is so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That was so naughty. <laughs> I loved it. All right. So now All righty. All right, Charles. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. Yes, I understand your protestations. Uh, but, uh... I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spear. Why won't the police say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Hmm. Well, let's face it. That is kind of hard of anybody to normally believe. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Do you think the club will be closed? Hmm. That's your only concern? Honestly. Wow. This is kind of a nice place. Hmm. What do we got here? It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. Zacharias Greystoke. I wonder who this man is. Hmm. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Faked or damaged? Oh. That's uh, definitely a uh, situation, my friend. Hmm. Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Yeah. Is Lord Stevenson. The fiftieth birthday of Lord Stevenson. Oh, Stevenson. Hmm. Charles Yellingham has a large family. Hmm. What's this? Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new tranche to your club's account. However, the payment period has been reduced to one month and the, lar the sum of credit to £1,000 due to previous overdue amounts. If you wish to review your account, you should contact the bank manager directly. Mr. Black, bookkeeper for Lloyd's Bank. Lloyd's of London, oh brother. Uh, Sir James Nesson Sons Jewelers, Sir Charles Yellingham. We acknowledge receipt of your item, namely 458 grams of solid gold from a part gold Guatemalan statue. We agree to purchase this item. Monies will be paid within 48 hours from receipt of this letter. Although this transaction is entirely legal, we do assure you that it will remain confidential. Interesting. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what's this? Oh, more items. Are Mr. Oliver, the company director of royal parties, to organize the award ceremony for a bowling club most recent competition? To the estimation of requirements for guest night, 20 cases of champagne, dinner for 40 reserved from the restaurant, a local musical ensemble, 
to provide entertainment. 30 flower arrangements for table decorations, invitation cards for guests. I know this will be pretty quite expensive, but do please allow me a period of grace to settle this payment. As I recall, you were so generous to grant on the previous occasion. Thank you in advance. Hmm. What's this one? From Brittany Lovelace, Chief Accountant of Lloyd's Bank. Dear Sir Charles, our records show that you are once again late, and this is for the fourth time in paying the credit you have with our house. Any delay in payment results in a fine of seven pounds for uh, ten shilling. After staying your proposal, we agree to seizing part of your club's collection in payment for the credit, which will be sold in private auction. All raised monies will be reserved against your credit account. Interesting. I have to perform an analysis. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Hmm. Anything in here? Well, what's this? Yelling him, as I said here in front of everyone, you cannot give away this calendar. I want to study it. We have to discuss this matter before the award ceremony. I have already warned the others of this. Zacharias Greystroke. Oh! A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystroke, victim. Hmm. Now that has been interesting. Can I close those? I mean, I'd hate to leave them open and, well. No, I can't close them. Uh, Sherlock, that's very sloppy, even for you. Alright, let's see this. These antiques look quite valuable. What's this? It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. Interesting. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. Hmm. Yeah. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Hmm. Globe. This metal globe is very impressive. Some bits are missing. Interesting. Some bits are missing. There's something more to that. Hmm. Is there something more? Some bits are missing. Here's another Some one. Some bits are missing. Okay, now I've spotted everything, everything. Okay, and what's over here then? Oh. Interesting. The late Mr. Roberts collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. Interesting. The late Mr. Smith's collection. Mm -hmm. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Mm -hmm. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. Interesting. Let me take this information in. Physical ability.
had the time and opportunity to be prepared for the victim's visit. That is interesting. Club debt. Oh, yes. That could work. That makes sense, but you can also that would lead away from it. Okay. Oh, facts about the crime. Okay. That has given us a lot more to think on. All right. Let's go talk with Charles again. Yeah, I'm curious about this. So Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Mm-hmm. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, mm -hmm. so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. Hmm. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Huh. All the items are from our club members. Hmm. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. Interesting. Alright, I think I've learned all I can for right now. Hmm. I think I need to head back to uh, Baker Street. That photo, there's something about that photo. And I'm going to need to figure that one out. Or that this photo is faked. Let's examine the photo. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Mm. Zacharias Greystoke. I wonder who this man is. It appears that part has been painted over. Okay. I need to find out what's underneath. I need a pipette. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to rub it. I just want dab it. Gives 
me a face. Aha, uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. Hmm. That is definitely interesting. Let's go back to the club and see, uh... what we can find out there. I mean, we're at basically a half hour now, but I have a feeling there's a little bit more to this. So, let's talk to Charles about the mystery man in the photo. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Mm. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. Really? We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias, and there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Hmm. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, a gentleman over here built the statue? Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's a terrible thing. This man here, I guess. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Hmm. Grub Street. Hmm. Definitely into that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now I have that. But now we have more info. Ooh. Curse is real. Hmm. I'm gonna put that as curse is real for right now. Oh. Which could be... So no, oh, what's this? Was aware of the curse, he had the perfect opportunity. Oh, but then what if he was unaware? Oh Yeah, that's oh damn.
Okay. So, what will happen if I follow him to Grub Street right now? Yes, I think I should visit him right now. It's just something of it tells me, says to me... It's just saying to me, this needs to be done. Gumbled rope. Okay. Mm. Uh, it definitely was a tunnel. Keaton Street. direction here. Possum Street. Possum Street. Not looking for possums. Cranny Street. Hmm. Grub Street. Ah, I found Grub Street. Express services. Hmm. Ah, Bernard Marley. Here's his place. Mm hmm. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Fresh scratches. Hmm. Something large and heavy was trapped here. Hmm. All right. Lion statues, only ten available. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. Okay. Well, let's start with a nice little uh, profile of the man. Okay. Dirty collar. Mm -hmm. 
Amulets, protective charms. Hmm. Ooh. Greasy hands, smell of oil. Hmm. Ooh, the patch on the elbow. Leather patches. Needs on desk frequently. Okay. Interesting. Spectacles required for close work. Makes is what's this? Injured finger. Intricate work. So, oh, and there's one more person in this case. Interesting. Not yet forty-five. Lives alone, superstitious man. Mm hmm. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, no. he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Mm. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. Mm. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekunuman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias's death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity! Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political mm. ambition. That would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. Mm. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. Hmm. What's your opinion on Takum Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Yeah, well... But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takum Uman. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Tekunuman? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekunuman. Well, goodbye then. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Tekunuman. Something. Hmm. 
Something large and heavy was dragged here. A furnace for melting metal. Sorry, I'm too busy to chant. It's odd though that something was heavy was dragged through here. Hmm. I noticed this earlier too. On uh, hello. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takunu Mark. Hmm. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's yes. probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Charles is guilty. That does. That does seem right that he's guilty. Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. That's okay. to Baker Street. We're going to call an episode soon. I just went to uh, go back to Sherlock's place. Let that time out. The phone ringing. <laughs> Interesting, however, that we found so much Caitlin's up house is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. 
He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... Uh... You know... I would think it's all right. I can't help myself. I must open this letter. I need to turn on the gas burner first. Oh, yeah. steam the glue open. Hmm. Oh my god. Alice, so you finally did. You moved and settled yourself next to him. You are a bold one. He will fascinate you, but be cautious of him all the same. I am writing to tell you that I found your father's boat. It is quite damaged, but still afloat. You can use it if you wish. You must know that your father was like a brother to me. If there is anything in any way that I can do to help you, please let me know. Anything, whatever risk it may involve. Say what now? Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh. Now I need to, um... That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. All right. All right, we'll step out here. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since mm. you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. Mm. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. She knows something more. She knows more than what she lets on. Oh, I like that. That's neat. Outside. Oh, man, that, that, that's a nice change. Ah, uh. well. oh, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Well. All right. Interesting. That changes things.
However, we're going to save that for next time. And I hope you've been watching this entire time. If you have, thank you very much. And uh, next time around, we will do... We are going to break into the foundry and hopefully even find out about this gentleman. Because it should be interesting. And if you've watched this far, please put in the comments... Does Alice know the secret? And next time around, like I said, we will continue on this. I hope you check out some of the other videos I have going up. I have videos go up every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, besides this, I am working my way through Little Nightmares 2, working my way through the uh, Assassin's Creed series, currently on Assassin's Creed 1 for the channel. I've actually played through number 2, and... Uh, that will be up on, uh, that will have a video premiere, well, that will have a podcast premiere uh, sometime, I think, in August. We're recording it at the end of July, after you see this. <laughs> I'm also working my way through uh, the spellcasting series, currently on 201, Sorcerer, uh, the Sorcerer's Alliance. Working my way through the Indiana Jones franchise, currently on Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Working my way through the Shante series, working on Shante, thanks to a Game Boy emulator. Do runs to the game of Monstrum, and I'm working my way through the Deponia series. Uh, the first four games, at least. Uh, currently on uh, doing the complete journey, which is the first three games. I'm currently on uh, the Goodbye Deponia part of that. And a bunch of other games that premieres at 3 p.m. Eastern every day. Also at 10 a.m. weekly, uh, usually Tuesday through Saturday. Sometimes something pops up on a Monday. Uh, I have videos premiering. Tuesday is usually a fic reading. Wednesday is one of the first seven Final Fantasies. Thursday is usually Dead by Daylight games. Friday is a fighting game, uh, ladder mode or tower mode or whatever they want to call it. Arcade, whatever. And Saturday's usually reserved for retrospectives for games or series I've finished. So, until next time, I want you all to take care, and I want you all to have fun. And, uh, goodbye, all.